Hi guys and welcome back, or welcome if you're brand new for the first time. Today I wanted to talk about fashion, mainly because I haven't done so in a little while. I feel like I haven't sat down here with you guys in ages. And also, I've been feeling like really down the past week or so. I don't feel myself. I don't feel like I look myself, I don't know what it is. So I've just kind of put lots of makeup on, I have washed my hair, I've just kind of had a bit of a pamper. So I thought I'd kind of go through some things I've picked up in the past few months. It's been that long since I did like a new in. So this is kind of me going through the items I've really enjoyed wearing, the things that made me feel amazing, and I thought maybe you guys would like them too. As always, everything that I mention I will leave down below as well in order of appearance. But let's just kind of get straight into it. First up, you might recognise this jacket from, I picked up some items recently from the Louisa Via Roma sale and this was in there and it was like 60% off or something and I was like yeah I'm pretty sure I'll get a lot of wear out of this anyway I was so right I have not stopped wearing this this is my go-to jacket when I'm running out the house for me and Alex are going to the shop if we're going here there and everywhere to our new house if you heard the news I'll leave it linked up on the screen if you didn't know already about our new house and you wanted a little sneaky peek it's in that video and I've just been wearing this constantly so and especially seeing as we're not having a summer right now in the UK this has been amazing warm it's just that very like, oversized jacket and again I feel it's because my mood has been quite low it's been that really easy thing to throw on it's quite comforting and cozy so actually I have loved it just an simple denim jacket with a Sherpa style inside. Honestly adored it. I'll leave a link if I can still find it or I'll find a similar one for you guys. This Chanel, I picked this up a few months ago now. I'm so so glad I did. I know a lot of people are like, oh so many bloggers have this bag. Genuinely I think I knew of maybe two bloggers that had this bag before I picked it up. I didn't realise it was so hyped but either way I am so glad that I did. I am in love with it. Honestly if you've been thinking about this bag, the pearls have stayed on, the shape is great. I just wear this constantly, I'll be honest, and it's my most complimented bag ever. So it makes me really happy to wear it, honestly, I really love it. And in fact, another bag that I haven't stopped wearing is this new Dior one. It was a very, very kind gift from Dior to me when this came out. This is a 30 Montan bag. Genuinely, I think it's one of my favourite Dior bags, mainly because I love how much it fits inside. Like, I'm my robe tissues are constantly in here but it just fits a hell of a lot inside it's a really great size the fact that it's this thin rectangle shape is my favorite kind of crossbody because then it doesn't protrude too much on your hip fits loads inside it i love the the metal work on it and i really like it in this in this fabric style. It does also come in like a nude beige, which I love. Obviously a black would be nice and classic. I think if you got this in black, it would be that like everyday use it for everything bag. But genuinely, I really do love it. Oh, this t-shirt. Don't worry, I don't think I'm a style icon in Anyway, I just really love these t-shirts and I really wish I could have worn the other one because it's it's my favourite one um, and it just says I can't concentrate in flats and it's probably one of my mottos. These are new from Victoria Beckham, the team very kindly sent me them and um, I just fancied wearing this today. The way I've been feeling recently, I just want to throw on an amazing white t-shirt and my Balenciaga jacket, a pair of jeans and head out and that's what I wanted to do. I just wanted to wear this today. Um, but I think these are awesome. This is super cool. And the one that says I can't concentrate on flats is definitely my favorite. Love it, it's just in the wash. <laughs> Some shoes. These now look so battered, like so battered and a bit gross. But these Dior flats have probably been my most, my most worn shoe of the past, God knows how long, five months maybe? No, three months. They're so comfortable. They go with everything I wanna wear. I haven't been wearing as many heels recently, I don't know what's happened to me, but again I just want to throw on a pair of jeans or these faux leather trousers and go out in some flats recently and these have been my flats of choice every single day. They're unbelievably comfy, I love them. In terms of heels though, you're most likely thinking these will come up, but the Pradas, genuinely so comfortable, I've not stopped wearing them. With this big block heel, they're really comfortable to wear. These are kind of like my everyday walking around kind of shoes <laughs> because to me that big block heel equates to a flat shoe practically. So genuinely these shoes have been one of the best things I've added to my collection all year and I could not love them more. Again, I'll leave a link down below. They come in different colors as well, but these are just so gorgeous. I love these to bits. These yellow heels 
I mean, how stunning is that heel for a start? It's so thin, but then this kind of comes around your ankle and they just wrap up your leg. And I just think they're so sexy. They go with everything for this summer. I mean, like blues, blacks, whites. I mean, genuinely any color you could probably pull these off with because it's kind of that color of the season. And I've worn these so much. I love them, they're comfortable. I mean, for a heel, they're comfortable. I'm a huge fan and they just make me feel happy whenever I wear them. So, big fan of those. And the final heels to mention are these, this ultra sexy little number. Ah, these are so beautiful, a pair of Jimmy Choo's. Tie around your ankle like this. I love this kind of cage detail here at the front. A really good high 100 mil heel. They're comfortable enough, I mean, they're the kind of shoe you want to wear if you want to feel sexy and amazing. And you can put these with like a suit or an amazing dress. So again, I've not bought, I feel like I've not bought an amazing pair of black heels in a while. And these are definitely it. They make me feel my most powerful and beautiful. So love those to bits. This dress has been a favorite, I'll be honest. I wore this yesterday actually, and I got a compliment from every single person that I met that day. It comes with, this here is a belt that just cinches this whole thing in. But the quality is just divine. It's got the most beautiful shape at the bottom like walking down the escalators into the London tube this just flies everywhere as you're walking down I felt like I was sashaying a little bit but it just makes me feel really beautiful like these cut out detail bits that it has here on the arms stunning and they have these little flies it's like little flies and polka dots I'm honestly just such a massive fan of this. I think it's gorgeous. I'm sure it also maybe comes in another colour. But the fabric is the most insane quality. Genuinely can't recommend this enough. It, I just love wearing it and I feel amazing when I wear it. This beautiful dress deserved a mention. I got to wear this in Saint-Tropez. And I just felt so pretty in this. Powder blue. I barely ever wear powder blue. And I just loved it. I had my hair all curly. Just a really like nude lipstick. And I just... I felt so amazing in it. It's got an underneath camisole to keep you, you know, all secure. But then this goes down into a stunning long length. It is an absolute beaut. For like summer nights, if you're going to any weddings, this would be a perfect wedding guest dress. Any kind of summer events, you know, garden parties, that sort of thing, we want to be a bit more dressy and pretty. This is stunning. I'm honestly in love with this dress. This blazer has probably been one of my most worn items. This, oh, I mean, again, the quality is incredible, but it's more of a kind of a cotton feel here, and then on the lapels, it's a satin. So it just looks, it's almost like a smoking dinner jacket kind of thing, but I've been wearing it in the day with just like these, like faux leather trousers, white tee, or like a cute little top underneath. Or, and I also wore it with just a black bra, because I did a, a panel with Victoria's Secret. I wore it for that. It's that versatile piece that you'll find you wear constantly. And again, it's just been making me feel so like girl boss, really stylish, and you can just dress it up and dr or dress it down, you know? And I just feel like the quality and the fit of this is so fantastic, I needed to recommend it. This shirt, <laughs> every time I wear this shirt now in a video, everyone's like, the shirt, the shirt's back. <laughs> That's how I feel, guys. I am just obsessed with this shirt. It's just beautiful quality, stunning patterning. I mean, with the ruching and the pleating and the buttons. It's just very like renaissance romantic and I just feel amazing whenever I wear it genuinely. I just think it's gorgeous. It's a real like statement blouse that you can throw on with anything and just look like you've really made effort. I think that's why I love it. Okay, two dresses I need to mention. First, you may have seen me in this slinky number. Ooh, doesn't really show on camera, it looks more orangey there, but here it's more of a raspberry red. And the, oh, let me look at the way this moves and that pleat on the hip and oh. Honestly, I felt unbelievable wearing this in Saint-Tropez. I just tied my hair back in like a really tight bun, red lip, and just felt like a million dollars, like genuinely. If you've got any parties coming up, I can't recommend this enough and it comes in so many colors. I went for the red because I just thought this is killer. I need to wear this again soon because I just think it's gorgeous. But the other dress that deserves a shout out because I'm just obsessed with this and I cannot wait to wear it. In fact, I'm gonna take it to Provence with me. I'm going away with L'Occitane on Monday. Really, really excited. I'm going away without Alex actually for the first time in ages, ages, ages. But I'm really, really looking forward to it and just spend a bit of time 
time. Some girls I haven't spent much time with recently. So this dress, again, I'll, I'll be inserting the pictures, but this dress, it's like a beautiful like linen cotton feel. With this colouring, oh, I just don't have anything like it and I love it. The floral detailing, the split leg. On me, so I'm 5'7", I had to wear this with wedges and it just skimmed the floor for me, so it was like really great length. Otherwise, I wouldn't let that put you off, I would just get it taken up because this is one hell of a dress. It is stunning the way, stunning, I've said that about three times now. Who am I turning into? So it's strappy and then it all just ties round the back. I mean, if you saw the vlog, I'll leave it on linked, but if you saw the vlog of me going to my friend's wedding in Italy I showed this and I showed the back and the detailing it is just honestly absolutely stunning it's honestly beautiful and it's a dress I think you're gonna see me in a hell of a lot this summer if we actually get a summer guys I mean wouldn't that just be fantastic if we could get some sunshine I hope it happens soon <laughs> Just a few more things I really want to mention. First up, do you know what? I'm going to have to take it off this hanger. This hanger is not made for this jacket. First up, this Balmain blazer, which you may have seen me in a couple of times recently. I've worn it for a few events. So much so, it's got so much makeup on here from where I've hugged off everyone that I've met because I had some amazing meetups recently and I wore this. Um, I just adore Balmain. The blazers make me feel like I'm worth a million pounds. feel incredible in them. They're just the most beautiful shapes. This one's a bit more of a longer line blazer than their usual ones. So I just feel incredible in it. So yeah, if, you're, if you are looking for like that power suit and you want to go a bit more brash and bold with the colour, I can't recommend this more. I'm going to keep it for the rest of my life. It's that kind of amazing suit. And then, of course, I got it with the matching trousers, which fit like an actual dream. They're beautiful. I always get my Balmain in 34, um, the blazers. And then this is just the smallest size that they do as well. But they just fit beautifully. They're a great length. Yeah, they're just made to perfection. And I can't vouch enough for the quality of Balmain. I think it's just divine. A little skirt number that I got and I'm really really glad that I have this now in my collection because I don't wear it enough skirts and I always feel so pretty when I put on a skirt and with a pair of boots or with a really cute pair of heels or even flats and I just think as soon as we do get some summer like this skirt makes me hopeful for some sun because when we do get some sun I think this is going to be beautiful with just like a little bodysuit underneath or like a swimming costume body underneath this it's gonna look beautiful. I think that the patterning on it, it's really feminine. Lovely colour choice. And it just kind of hides all manner of sins with this, you know, this ruching. Again, it makes me happy. All these things are what are kind of lifting my mood and making me really happy recently. And just a couple more tops to mention. First, this one is creased to hell, I'm so sorry. But if you're into your shirt, I wanted to mention the quality of this is beautiful. It's a really lovely colour, it's like an ivory cream. And it has these cute little like golden toned buttons. But it's just a really beautiful fit. Tuck it in with jeans. You could even wear this open over like a little cami or a little tee. And I really, really love wearing this. And the way I've also been wearing it is tying up the bottom into a kind of like tied up shirt style. And it looks really, really cool. So yeah, big fan of that. This top I have not stopped wearing, have I? In most of my pictures I'm wearing this. And it's one of the best things I've bought all year. Genuinely obsessed with this top. It's versatile. It's that kind of crop you can wear with everything because it looks a little bit more done up. You know, it looks like you've made more effort, but it's still like so summery. I love the poofy sleeves and it's just beautifully made. So it deserved a mention. Like before I do these videos, I go through my closet and I'm like, what makes me happy here? What do I love? Like, what do I want to tell people about? And I was like, that, 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 that. And the last thing is this tea, which I just kind of, again, I'm just kind of living in tees right now so I've been reaching for this most days it's just comfortable it's a really beautiful material it's a pretty blush pink you can just tuck it in with anything you're wearing and it just looks really cool layer up with loads of necklaces or whatever you want to do it's a little bit creased now because I've just been wearing it so much and it's also got a bit more of a rounder neck a bit wider neck so it's a bit more slouchy a bit more oversized and it's just one of those tees that I feel like you get a lot of use out of and last but not least actually one more pair of one more pair of shoes. These shoes, you might remember these, my booties that I had a few months ago. I wore mine to 
a pit of despair. I literally wore mine, I think, every single day for about three, four months, and they got really, really trashed. So I got another pair. That's how much I love these boots. It's just this high ankle, beautiful black suede, and that ultra pointy toe. They're a bit of a sock boot, but they're the best quality sock boot I've found. I just wore them too much. I wore them constantly. I was in Milan, Paris, everywhere, wearing these boots a bit too much, not really caring too much about them, and I should have taken more care. So I have got another pair, and I could not be happier. These are genuinely probably one of my most favourite boots I've picked up in years. <laughs> That's how much I love them. Like, I'm sure we all have that one thing that we're like, I'd buy two of those if I could that's these. That is everything that's making me extremely happy right now. Um, I would highly recommend every single thing I've shown you here and hopefully they'll make you feel happy too. Do you know I've really enjoyed sitting down and filming this although I feel like I'm on such a time limit I need to be literally at the restaurant right now so I'm going to have to apologise to Susie but um, I hope you've enjoyed this guys. I didn't want to not film a video this week so like I said everything will be linked down below in case you liked anything. If you are brand new, please do hit the subscribe button. It would be amazing to have you. And um, I'll see you soon, I guess. Bye!